Hey everybody, I'm Ivonix and this is Enderall, and we're outside the crashed Starling airship, Agnod, and we need to go inside and meet up with Yurai's assistant, Pathira. This, um, this is of course in Continuing Apotheosis Part 2. There's something tromping over there, and I'm sure it's not friendly. Yep, Ice Elemental. Frost elemental. Whatever the hell they want to call themselves. And it sounds like there's more than one. There we go. Nice to retrieve arrows when you can. Um. Starling battle axe. Oh. Okay, I've got. I am pretty close to being over encumbered. Looking for Starling gauntlets, though. I'll take that. And Master Book of Sneak. Um, hang on just a second. Okay, I realized I had like, oh lot of unread spell tomes, so, and each one weighs one pound, so I was able to get the weight down a little bit. <laughs> oh, let's see if there's anything on this side. Scrap metal, spell tome fire, another spell tome fireball. Um, let's see if I read that one. Nope, not rank four. Okay. Presumably Pathira is somewhere this way. I think I hear some starling spiders clinking around. Oh, and I can like... Oh man. It's really tempting to go wandering off, but I guess I'll, you know, meet up with her first and she's... Hopefully pretty close by. Oh no. There's gonna be a whole bunch of these guys. I just don't want them to blow up on me. <laughs> It. Like that guy was trying to. <laughs> Eric was flying back. Sounds like there's one more. Somewhere? Oh, there he is. It is, I should say. Boom! What is this? Eterna Shield of Resistance. Worth 300 penny coins. Um, doesn't really look like there's... Oh, a chest. Yay! 17 penny coins. Why, thank you. Alright, I think that's all there was in here. Well, it's this way. Agnod Crevasse. Behind a master lock. Well, thankfully I can uh, undo master locks, but... It might cost me a few lock picks in the process. There we go. Almost. Really? <laughs> this is painful.
There we go. God, that that was sad. Uh, Pathira? Oh, great, skeletons. An iron sword and potion protection from frost. is a little spooky. Battle Axe of the Righteous Path. I'm not going to carry on a battle, wa battle wax battle axe. Assassin shoes. Which I already have. Strong helmet. Yeah. Search spider prey. Uh, oh. I didn't even notice those two assholes sitting right over there. Two Frost Spider Queens. Gross. Where'd she go? Oh, so I had to go like through the crevasse down to another part of the ship. I don't mess. Generate, and it's behind another. Another master lock. I mean, I hope I wasn't supposed to, like, get a key or something. Or maybe, maybe, like... Shit. There we go, there we go. Oh, so close, fuck. Oh my god. Damn. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna say, I have, I have so few lockpicks left, I might ac ac actually uh, blow through them all. Oh no! Who are you? You don't seem friendly at all. He seems like... An overpowered centurion. Oh, geez, and it goes all the way down there. I'm guessing if I hadn't been able to get through those locked doors, I probably would have had to, like, you know, those other hallways that I saw before coming this way, probably would have had to, uh, like, go the long way around or something. The mechanism. That wasn't too difficult, thankfully. Does the mechanist have anything on him? A turn of sword of frost wrath. Name of this. Echo of the Wandering Mage. Grand Soldier Key of Ag Key of Agnon's Mechanist. Okay. Scrag helmet. Oh, that's cool. So I'm keep an eye on my carry weight. Alright. Um Oops, grab these. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of guessing at this point that this kind of probably leads back through the um, the long way around through the rest of the airship. Cause yeah, obviously the quest marker is pointing me down. I think so. Let's interact with these lovers and see what happens. Uh. Oh, here we go. how I'm like staying in place and then falling down and oh give me that arrow give me the arrow sterling spider shit Really? 
Okay, so where is Pathira? Oh, she is... All the way down there? Yep, there she is. I see her. Well, okay, do I need to, like... I was gonna say, do I need to walk down from here, but... I don't know if that's possible. Let's not fall off the edge. Or if I need- the elevator can like go lower maybe. What does this do? Um. There we go. Hello? Hey, I made it. Are are you gonna talk to me? Why isn't she talking to me? Well, well. There we go. You sure did take your time, didn't you? Yeah, so, I had to fight some stuff you left behind. The energy core is, as expected, still intact, but we'll need some cleverness to get to it. Uh, didn't you say you were going to deactivate the defense mechanisms? They seemed pretty active to me. I said I'll see what I can do, and that I did. I deactivated most of the traps, and if I hadn't done that, you probably wouldn't be here anymore. As for those centurions, nothing I can do about him. Sorry. This thing is colossal. Any ideas to why it crashed? Well, I can only speculate, but stalling technology is as genial as it is complex. They say the building Agnog took about seven decades, and then, phew, just like that, a misplaced cog and the whole thing goes to shit. Must have been pretty frustrating for the engineers. I would imagine so. Fine, so how do we get to this core? That's pretty easy. Well, that is if you know what you're doing. We need to deactivate the energy current that surrounds the core. If we don't do that, anyone who touches the core will be turned to roast beef in seconds. So, this is what we'll do. You open the valves and I control the flushing of energy. There are four valves in total. Open them all. Okay. Open all the valves of the generator. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Okay, so it's one, two... I'm guessing that's it there that we're looking at. Oh, okay, all right, so they're just all in a row. All right, let's see if we can do this. Interact. Good. That did the trick. Now, take the call. Okay. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no! That didn't go as planned. I was about to say, what, I mean, what's going on? That must have hurt, didn't it? Wait, no! This isn't personal, but I saw how you can fight. Oh, you I mean, bitch. What I plan to do, I can't afford any extra risks. There's no way I can let that old fool have the machine. It is a masterpiece, probably the greatest Starling achievement since they built the ship. And what does he do? He calls it Horst and treats it like a bloody pet. Why the heck do geniuses always need to be lunatics as well? Dal Terrible is a damn fine tinkerer, but he doesn't even remotely understand the potential of this apotheosis. He sees the Centurion as some kind of crutch with which he can prolong his life. That's just pathetic. Ah, oh, immortality. Just think what you could do with it in the right hands. I will lead my people, the Starlings, back to their old glory. It's for the greater good. I'm sorry. Uh, she's teleporting away. I feel like I'm floating off the platform slightly. <laughs> ah, so she's traitor. She turned traitor. Great. Escape from the generator room and inform Yerai of Pictira's betrayal. I gotta escape. Whoa. The glacier is melting. I have to get out of here. Crap. 
Okay, um... Oh. Oh, great. Well, that's just... Dude, I can, like, barely even see a thing with... All this shaking. So can I just, like, rise with the waters and get out? That way, I hope. Still rising. It's just taking a while. Don't suppose I could use that elevator once it gets up to that level. Hey, an arrow! Well, that was a bit of a downer. This glacier's melting pretty damn fast, I'll say that. Okay, let me, let me up. Come on. Let me up. Okay, which one? Yes. Oh shit, no! Oh my god, really? I fell in the freaking hole in the corner. Oh, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. Okay, time for a bit of an explanation. Um, after I died from unfortunately falling in through a crack in the elevator, um, you know, I, it, my game reloaded and I was back at the start of the generator room, so I had to replay all of that, so I, I stopped my recording and just started a new video file once I got back up to the elevator. And then I thought, hey, okay, now now that that's done, now that I got out of the generator room, I'm just going to take this chance now to explore the rest of the ship before going back to Ark. And then after about 20 minutes, I want to say, suddenly the, uh, the little lights here on my webcam turned off and the little icon I've got down in the uh, corner of my screen that shows me whether or not I'm recording disappeared. So, I mean, and I hadn't hit the... I, I didn't hit the uh, stop recording or, you know, stop start recording or anything, so... I paused, I went and I, you know, opened up my, opened up the folder where, um, that file would have been, and the, so yeah, so those, like, 20 minutes or so of me, you know, getting back out of the generator room and then exploring the ship, um, that all got corrupted somehow. So I will, I'll see if I can recover any of it, but if not, I mean, well, here I am. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so the, the ship is pretty fucking huge, um, and this is honestly the, really the, probably the only place that's really noteworthy, um, which is the cockpit, it's, uh, and it had this guy here, the navigator, who is basically just another big trumped up starling centurion or colossal or whatever. But anyway, so as you can tell, I'm over encumbered at the moment, and um, here, let me, let me actually walk up here just so you can see the navigation area, because eh, that, that's a little neat. All right, here we are. You can see they, they just built this whole thing up, and there's the huge-ass windshield. I, I don't know. I just thought it was pretty cool. I mean... Too bad they crashed it into a fucking glacier and everything, but hey, um, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> sorry, I'm just kind of disappointed to have lost that, uh, lost that video, that video footage, but anyway, uh, nothing much to do else in here, I mean, the rest of the ship, it's like, it's big, but nothing else was, like, super duper remarkable that I, you know, I'm gonna backtrack and show you and everything, so I will just teleport back to Ark now, sell some stuff, and then, um, go to Yerai's house to confront, or well, tell him, or, and to confront Pythira. Alright, we are back in the Noble's Quarter. And we are going to head into Yerai's house now. Oh boy. Uh-oh. 
Horst is gone. Oh no, I'm gonna. I, uh, now is now is when I have to go back to his workshop. Yeah, I'm like afraid that maybe uh, you know, just the possibility that Pythira got here before me. Uh, let's let's see what happens. Please, Pythira, this yep. is madness. You don't know what you're doing there. Oh, believe me. Oh, she she performed apotheosis on herself. Yep. You realize how pathetic you are, Master. Yep. <laughs> oh, great. I knew I shouldn't have taken chances. Yeah, you should have double tapped. You, by the ancient fathers, help me, Pythira. She she controls him. You need to stop her. I think she figured that out by herself, don't you? I guess it's time to test what this thing can do. I wonder where her body went. Good thing I'm hidden. It's like, shit, help me! Protect me! Oh, come on. And she's gonna- she slash it is dead. Flawless Garnet, a grand soul gem, and scrap metal. Uh, sorry about your invention, Yerai. That kind of sucks. By the stars! This was bloody unnecessary! Why did she do that? I just don't get it. She thinks she deserves it more than you. What happened to Pythira? Is she dead? Dead? No, but inactive. Her consciousness is still linked to Horst. His soul, if you will. She did it. She actually did it. Foolish girl. She always was too impulsive. Tell Yerai Yer about the events in Agnod. Long story, she thought you would waste this machine's potential. Lead our people back to glory? By the stars! How stupid can a person be? We are starlings, damn it, not bloody imperialists. We live to quest, to fulfill the prophecies, not to... You see, this is what happens when a juvenile zeal meets powerful technology. She was always snappy, but I really didn't see that coming. Anyway, I suppose I have to do it all again. Disassemble Horst, retrieve his consciousness core, and then put him back together. Then I'll think about what to do with Pathira. Maybe I'll transfer her into something else. Put, put her in a spider. <laughs> I've always... Wanted a talking paperweight. Just a joke. Put her in a starling spider. But you will transfer her consciousness back to her body again, won't you? Of course. I'm not a murderer. Put but when that time comes, I will make sure to have a dozen guards beside me. She can look forward to some nice months in prison. And then she can go look for another master. Stupid girl. So much potential wasted. Heh. <laughs> But, save for the drama, you did a good job. I now have all that I need, and Pathira proved that the transfer, the apotheosis, is possible. In that regard, thank you. You will get your reward and Pathira's share of it, too. Here, take this key. Back in the lobby, you'll find a small casket, right beside the fireplace. What's in there is yours. Again, thank you. You're welcome. Here is key out of tin for you. And yeah, I guess all things considered, that wasn't too bad of an ending. I mean, I was sitting there thinking like, oh no, now it's going to be unusable after she did that. But no, he just needs to do more work. So hey, that's not such not such a bad ending. Anyway, what's in here? Oh, ninety Eterna arrows. Cool. Claws of the Ash Warrior. I feel like I have gotten some of those before. Chrondom ingot, 750 penny coins, and metal ingot of an ancient nation. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, hey, that was a pretty neat quest, and I'm still annoyed about that ah, bit of a. Uh... Good to see you. 
Good to see you too. I'm I'm still annoyed about that bit of um, gameplay footage that vanished, but um, or what didn't vanish, just got corrupted, you know. But anyway, ah, you. And he goes good back. He, he goes back to his front room to start working on the the ah, invisible, good to see. the invisible now horse. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyway, with that being the end of the quest, I guess I will end this video here. So, um, yeah, that was, that was Apotheosis, or at least the second half of it. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching, and until next time, rock on.